This is ADTV. Brought to you by Amazing Discoveries. With the growing body of research that suggests that GM foods are not safe and should never have been approved, a complete overhaul of our diet and school meal programs is long overdue. Most people around here, when you think of a farmer, it's uh, of the children's fable, old MacDonald had a farm and had, you know, chickens and pigs and cows. That's not, that's not the way farming is anymore. It's, it's a strictly a business. And now you've got companies that are putting foreign genes into animals and fish that are changing the crops of the world, fundamentally, at the genetic level, and polluting you know, the planet with this genetic pollution. You have to adapt and change, and, and biotechnology is going to play a huge role into the future in, in my ability to stay here and make a living. A Canadian company by the name of Aqua Bounty is about to receive approval to market its genetically modified giant salmon. It has developed a salmon that is six times longer than the same species living in the wild, yet needs only half the time to grow. This isn't science fiction. There are currently hundreds, perhaps thousands of test plots of GE trees already being grown in the open around the world. What we found through our research is that genetically engineered trees are truly the greatest threat to the world's remaining native forests since the invention of the chainsaw. So I went out to the USDA and this is what they did. They took the human growth gene and put them into this pig. As you can see, there's a problem. Instead of like the mouse that with human genes that grew so big, the genes work differently. The human growth genes work differently in this pig. It was cross-eyed, uh, bow-legged, impotent. Uh, the musculature had overwhelmed it. Uh, and I could only photograph it against a plywood board here because it's the only, only way it could stand up. In 1996, Monsanto introduced its genetically modified canola to Canada. A heavy storm during harvest time blew it onto Percy Schmeisser's fields. In August 1998, he was sued for illegally cultivating patented seeds from Monsanto. There was one other reason, too, that we stood up to Monsanto, was the fact that they had destroyed what my wife and I had developed over 50 years of research and development canola seeds that were resistant to, to various diseases we had on the prairies. They destroyed what we developed, but they can come on to a farmer or pollute, contaminate a farmer's field and destroy what he has worked on and get a lawsuit on top of it. This is a picture of three related fish, brothers and sisters, that we developed. Um, this is a fish that inherited the transgene, and these are its siblings that did not. Uh, and as you can see, there is an incredible acceleration in the early life stages. These fish are, are, are just barely ready to go into salt water. This fish is almost ready to harvest after a year. When you take a gene from one species and transfer that DNA into a totally unrelated species, that's a completely different kind of experiment. This is now called horizontal inheritance. We've never done that before, and it is absolutely bad science. Any more introduction of GMOs should be stopped immediately, because we have seen what has happened with the introduction of GMO canola and GMO soybeans, how it has destroyed the indigenous seeds and pure seeds. We no longer have any pure canola seeds or soybean seeds left in Canada. It is all now contaminated. It's a technology that cannot exist with nature. It's a technology that invades, pollutes, contaminates, and ultimately destroys the natural species. Aqua Bounty Farms is getting ready to breed and sell eggs manipulated with growth genes in huge amounts. The company conducts the scanty tests required for approval itself, and no other independent scientists or consumers have insight into the approval process. It is confidential. This fish, if let loose through biological pollution in the natural waters, will destroy the native fish. Once these fish are released into a bay or a river, you can't recall them. No scientist can say, come back, please. You can't put a net and get them. It's over. It's over. Everywhere people are asking for labeling. Everywhere people are asking for the right to choose and the right to information. And most places, people with that information are saying, we don't want this stuff. The so-called Terminator technology makes the farmers almost completely dependent on the corporations. 70% of our endangered species are created through farming and ranching in the United States. We're complicit in those moral crimes, whether we know it or not. 
The plants are genetically modified in such a way that they are able to germinate only once. Sowing the harvest seeds is pointless. The harvest is dead. And so it's not just an environmental crisis, it's a moral crisis. And we're never going to solve that by being mere consumers. We have to say, no, we are creating either the solution or the problem. The pesticide can't be washed off because it's in every cell of the genetically engineered plant or tree. It's a lose-lose scenario. There's no way of dealing with this unless you stop this technology before it gets out of the laboratory. The rush to apply these ideas is absolutely dangerous because we don't have a clue what the long-term impact of our manipulations is going to be. Genetic engineering is really a radical revolution in food production. It's really a cell invasion technology. You know, people have heard they're taking a flounder gene and putting it in tomato so the tomato can last in, in cold temperatures. But people don't ask, how does that flounder gene get in that tomato? How does it get in there? No matter how uh, unsustainable our technologies, we're not going to change the technology to fit the natural and living systems. We're going to change living systems so they fit the technology. This is the first generation in history that might not outlive their parents. We've got to stop using our most precious commodity, our kids, to make extra money. If you've enjoyed this presentation and would like more information on why genetically modified organisms threaten your health, the environment, and future generations, order the three DVD set, the GMO Trilogy, available at Amazing Discoveries by calling 1-866-572-9457 or visit us online at www.amazingdiscoveries.org.